to use RAM connection integrated with STAD, we first need to start with an analyzed STAD model. After the model's been analyzed, we can go to the RAM connection tab. We need to fill out some information about the material. First, we'll go ahead and specify the load envelope. You can specify the cases and the combinations here. The material need to be specified, so I can specify the yield strength and those properties. And then I'm ready to design a connection. You can either select many connections at a time using the select and select joints menu, or you can just select a certain joint, render it to see if it's a beam to column flange, beam to column web connection, and then come in and specify the type of connection. So if we want to use basic connections, beam to column flange, we can use clip angles, bent plates, single plates. So we'll select single plate beam to column flange. If there's a specific connection we want to assign, you can just move that over. Or I can select everything in the database, move that over to the selected dialog box, and say OK. The program will then notify me if the connection has been designed correctly or not. In this case, it's OK. To view the details of this, I can select the connection and then come to the Drawing and Result tab. Here the program will generate the 2D DXF as well as the report that we saw in the standalone version.